bagay ng channel. Rerecap natin ngayon natin ang Sony Certi TV. Bali may challenge tayo ngayon. Ahalon, ahalon po ng konti English yung ating pagtutorial para naman sakaling may makapanood na foreign viewers dyan eh malaman din nila kung gaano din tayo mag repair mga Pinoy okay this TV is brought to me one of my customer yesterday and if I'm Uh, while they are watching the TV, suddenly it shut off. Okay, no power. Okay, let's open the TV. Konti lang kong gagawin kong pag-English kasi hindi naman ako magaling mag-English. High school graduate lang ako at itong electronics ay naaral ko lang dito sa testa kaya kung may masabi akong maling English pagpasensya nyo na at least may konti tayong may share sa mga foreign, foreign viewers natin kagaya ng mga Indian magaling nga silang mag repair pero yung naman salita nila ayaw yata nilang i-share ng, para malaman naman ng ibang lahi ano yung knowledge nila nakaw okay, okay. open the TV and the TV is very dirty Tapos muna natin, lilinisan ko muna. Pause na natin natin nga ito yan. Okay, nalinisan na natin yung TV. Pero ganun pa rin. Medyo madumi pa rin. Pero okay na rin. Kaysa nung kanina. Okay. Tanggal natin, tanggalin natin yung mga connection nya Since this TV has no power, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna read the B plus. You put your meter to the chassis ground. Set the multimeter to. DC Okay, we plug in the TV. The this point is the positive side of the filter capacitor 100 microfarad by 160. Okay, we plug in the TV. Okay, we read 111 volts. 11 volts and it's normal okay we uh. okay it's normal 110 111 this china tv use a 110 to 115 b plus voltage 
I short the K so that it will oscillate. According to our multimeter, the B plus is 111 and it's normal. This is my own way of troubleshooting a TV with no power. So, may diretsyo na ako agad sa B plus nya para doon ko malalaman kung sir ang power supply. Kung may B plus sya, ibig sabihin uh, buo yung power supply. If the B plus is present and it's normal in volts, DC volts, it's clear that the power supply is okay and we don't need to check it. We move to other stage. Okay. 111 and when it started to oscillate, it will go down the B plus will decrease into 56 volts okay the next thing we're gonna do is we hang the collector pin of the horizontal out transistor hang natin <coughs> and then we measure again the voltage 111 <coughs> test natin sa mismong collector ng playback 111 in this case okay we we test the resistance of the horizontal output of the transistor. We check, check it if it's okay or leak. Okay, we go to diode test. Okay, naman siya. The horizontal output, say, output transistor is okay. <clears throat> in this case I suspected a defective flyback transformer okay sigurado kaya ano flyback ang sira ang dali, ang dali naman ma trace pag matagal ka na kasi sa pag -re repair ng ganito wala natin mga china tv kaya ano Ito ilang pes ko nang na-encounter This kind of trouble I encounter it many times So that it is easy for me to conclude That the horizontal The, fly, the flyback transformer Is defective And I will prove it to you We will check it I will test it by the use of my homemade flyback tester. Ito, para may pakita ko sa inyo kung sira nga ito o hindi. Pag matagal ka na sa pagre-reveal, hindi mo na kailangan ng flyback tester. Madali mo na lang siyang malaman kung flyback. Ito, ginagawa ko lang to for, dem for demonstration lang pa para sa mga customer na sigurado kang flyback ang sira mayroon yung magsasabi ok, test natin ginagawa ko okay, test natin sya itong flyback tester na to ginawa ko nung mga 2009 uh, January, February yun 
Ayan, mahigit, ano na, mahigit 10 years na nagamit ko. Ali, tatlo lang yung connection, oh. B+, plus, collector, ground. Okay. Ang gagawin natin ngayon, yahang natin yung pin ng playback yung yung natin yung collector yung B plus saka EBL yung EBL doon ko i-coconnect yung ground yung EBL pin ng playback Uy, parang hindi na tayo nag-i-inglis ah. We will confirm if the playback transformer is working or not by the use of my homemade playback tester. Okay, we will test it. Okay, I remove the three pin collector B plus and TPL of the FBT. If the flyback transformer is okay, you will see a high voltage coming from the second anode cup. That and the voltage on the indicator will remain at a normal voltage. It will not drop. But if the flyback is defective, you can see a high voltage coming from the high voltage cap. And the voltage on the indicator will drop. That is 110 volts, 115 volts. Okay, nilagay ko yung meter ko dyan, titingnan natin. Para mas madali nating ma kita kinonek yung digital yung maano sya yan yun on na natin <coughs> power it on oops 77 76 bumagsak yung pultahe nya at wala kang walang makikitang lumalabas doon sa high voltage cap power it on you can see a high voltage coming from the high voltage cap and the indicator of this flyback tester also drop oh mababa siya and it's still dropping the same result when the flyback is connected to the board so it's very clear that the defect that the defective component is the flyback transformer okay we will replace the flyback transformer the uh, number of the flyback the number of the flyback is 
PSC 25 <coughs> 05N 2158A Pare-parehas itong mga playback ng China board Pwede din dito yung tintin ang dulo Pare maraming ano dito Pero naubusan naman ng ganito Gagawin natin uh, Iko-convert ko na lang Oops Kung, kung bago sa inyo yun Tapusin nyo itong video to Para matutuan nyo I-like nyo na din At saka share At saka subscribe Please subscribe po kayo Kunti pa lang aking subscribers Para naman madagdagan Ang Matuturuan natin May share natin yung kalangan natin Okay Since I have no available Uh, fly back like this now we will replace it with another kind of playback not the same type like this we will use a uh, flyback from Toshiba or from Japanese TV okay let's find the 115 volts input on the B+. Yun ang hanapin natin pag magko-convert tayo ng playback. Uh, ito ang range ng B+, nito 110. So, yung pwede na kung ilagay dyan, marami, marami ako dyan. Yung sa Iowa, 115 yun eh. 115 yung B+, kaya o, pwede yun. Hanap muna ako. Pause ko muna. Okay, may hinahanap na ako. Uh, this flyback is from a Iowa 20, 21 inch TV. The number is HFT 3601A. Pero ang tatak nito sa nyo. Oh. Pero galing to sa ano, Iowa. Nung mag-umpisa ako mag-convert, mga 2005-2006, kaya subok ko na to. Yung mga kinonvert ko noon, wala na pa namang bumigay. Lalo na yung mga pinagmomonitor nila sa video, okay? Mas titibay siya kasi ang load lang dito sa China TV is Uh, ano lang, 180 ABL uh, ano lang, B plus collector wala na dito yung vertical eh ang kinuha dito ang kinuha na sa chopper bali sa power supply niya kinuha so, na, na, ito itong playback na to uh, na, madami tong load, may 12 may 24 so Ang natanggal na load dito, yung 24, ipapuntang vertical. Kaya mas titibay siya. Nabawasan siya ng load. Kaya ang gagawin natin dito, dahil magkaiba sila ng mga data, kung ano, kung ano yung B plus dito sa pin, B plus sa board, ABL sa pin ng playback, ABL din sa board, 180 sa playback, 180 din sa board, gano'n na lang. Ikakat ko na lang yung connection niya. Okay? Tatanggalin ko muna para uh, hindi yung mababa yung video natin. Muna natin. Okay, natapos na natin yung connection ka. Yan, bali. Yun, kinat ko yung 180, yung ABL yung heater oh yan kung, kung ano man yung data doon sa flyback ng Iowa doon ko din kinonek bali ito yung data nya yung Iowa oh sinunod ko lang din doon sa board yung yung mga flyback na uh, gina, uh, ginagamit ko sa mga ganito yung mga Toshiba so yung Japanese na flyback 
sharp. Yan, pwede yon. Ang pinakamadaling i-convert yung sa LG. Ang nilalagay ko doon ay eh, Toshiba. Dalawang pin na lang ang babaguhin mo doon. Eh. Halos parehas na sila. Tapos susunod, gagawa ko ng video nun sa LG. Paano mag-convert. Okay. The connection is done. We'll, we'll try to plug it. Hmm, as you will see. As you can see, the the B plus voltage, it's remain the same. It's one ten, it's one ten in volt volts DC, and the TV is working now. You can see. Get natin ng antena. TV is working now. Okay. Okay. Let's check if the high voltage is okay. Ang ginagawa ko dito para malaman ko kung okay na yung high voltage niya since wala ako naman akong pang reading ng high voltage ang minimeasure ko na lang dito yung 180 volts o oh, sakto siya 180 180 volts pag nag convert ako pag nag convert ka ng playback at mataas yung voltage pag pinapalitan ko ng value yun yung polyester capacitor yung by 160 volts kung mataas yung voltage niya marami siyang epekto si pi sa picture eh. uh, may, may block siya sa magkabilang gilid at sa kung minsan may may itim din sa ibabaw at saka sa baba pinapalitan ko doon yung polyester bali pag mataas ang voltage sa 180 nagdadagdag ako ng value Halimbawa, kung 822 yun, nilalagyan ko siya ng 9, uh, 822 is 8.2 nano. Nilalagyan ko siya ng 912, 9.1 nano, kaya 103, 10, 10 nano. Pag ano naman, pag mababa naman yung voltage, binabawasan ko naman ng value yung capacitor na yun. Kapag nag-expand naman yung picture niya, yung ibang capacitor naman ang papalitan to, yung pay for 400, yung nakakunik sa yok, sa kulay blow, at sa background. Pag, pag kulang yung size niya, baliktad yun, uh, bina, binabawasan ko naman siya, yung value. So, since ito ay okay na, yung B plus niya is 110, yung 180 niya is 180 Magana na to Yung pagko-convert na ganito Subok ka na to Wala pang bumibigay Wala naman tong sisira ang pyesa Kasi lahat ng output na galing sa playback Is normal naman This kind of repair Is I start it working on this since I think 2005, 2006 and it's doing fine and I found it much better and more durable than the original one, the China, the 1010 type of flyback. Okay.
Okay. Try ko lang i-ano kung may sound. Pause muna natin. Ever Frank Monte Carlo and Porsche okay. supercar driver Richard Heistand. The TV is working now. Definitely not easy. I'm lucky enough so to have driven with Townsend before. We've raced playback. together for the last two years on and off, so that makes it a lot easier. And I was also fortunate enough to drive playback. with Ames in a different program, so I know most of the key well, people are the good program to be a part of. So it's not as challenging as it may seem. It's early, right? There's a lot of people involved, <coughs> and for me, I'm less experienced than the other guys. So to a point, you know, I need laps in the car. I think there's a lot of moving cars and we're kind of making it up as we go and in other ways, you know, everyone knows what they're doing. The team has set high standards and want to beat the learning curve by getting podiums throughout the season. Okay. Kung nagustuhan niyo yung video ko, please like, share na din, and subscribe naman kayo. Pwede kayong mag-comment sa baba para uh, magtanong kayo kung gusto nyo may gusto kayong malaman dun sa mga estudyante pa lang ng mga karon sa testa pwede kayong magtanong sa akin mag-comment kayo sa baba at kung may, nakali may nakaligtan naman ako hindi ko nasabi mag-comment din kayo baka makasabi ko sa susunod all viewers out there out of the Philippines if you like my video if you found my video informative so please like share don't forget to click that uh, notification bell and subscribe also so that it will update you for my next video thank you